Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about our step three, which should be today, Wednesday, that you're watching this video. You're going to watch this mini lesson and then complete your individual slide. Again, this is worth one point that you get this done by Wednesday at 4 p.m., which should be today, the day you're watching the video. So at this point, your graphic organizer should be nice and highlighted, just like this one. You know, and hopefully you found an image. If you haven't found an image yet, I just wanted to go over how to do that. You know, so if you're on Google, you know, if you need to go to google.com, you could go there, read this. And then I just want you to search for, you know, the Crusades and click on images. And then really, you know, whatever image kind of sticks out to you, you know, maybe this one you think is nice, you're gonna copy that so you can right click and copy and then go back to your project and you can right click and paste and then you'll have your image in here. Okay, so just to go over that we have our image as well. So what we need to do now is actually create our slideshow. So the way we're gonna do this and your directions might be split up on the two pages. So just make sure that you, you know, are able to read all the directions. On your assignment, you have this as part of your assignment, and then you also have a slideshow. So if you're on your classroom, which this is just a test class, you should have your project open, and you should see that you have two different assignments, and yours might be in this upper right-hand corner, but you know you have this project doc you've been working on, and then you have this slide. So that's what we're gonna open up today, and your project. You should have both of these open, because we're gonna start actually making our slideshow now. So it says, do not start this till you've completed steps one and two, which should be done. The actual slide that you're completing is on this second slide. So what you need to do is copy and paste your chosen answers from your graphic organizer into the matching boxes here. Okay, so you're gonna write your name, you know, so whatever your name is, like, you know, Jane Smith, whatever your section, you know, maybe you're in section red, whatever section you're in, you're just going to write it there. And then again, these different boxes, we're getting our information from steps one and two. So whichever ones you highlighted, you're just going to copy them. So again, you can right click and copy. If you're on a um, PC, a Windows, you can also do control C. If you're on a Mac, you can do Command C. And then we're going to bring it over, because that's part of our step one, and do Control V, Command V, or right click and paste it. And there's our first sentence. And we need to get all of the sentences that you had for step one, right? So we're going to bring them all over here so they kind of make a little paragraph. And you shouldn't copy the part that says option two, because we don't need that part, or option one, or whichever option it is that you chose. Okay, so there's our step one. We're gonna go back, step two, whichever one you chose, you're gonna copy that. Put that where it says step two. And you're gonna get your step three. So again, whichever option it is that you chose, you're gonna take that option, bring it over, you know, put it in the migration displacement box. And again, you can make this all kind of one paragraph together. Um, and then your image. So that image, if you just found it or you already had one, again, you're gonna copy that. And you're gonna paste that where it says image, which might be a little blocked by my thing. It might go over there. You can click on the image and just kind of drag it to where it needs to be. Now, this slide is fine right now but you probably want to make it a little more exciting my suggestion for that you know play around with your colors your background you know you can unhighlight these by clicking that and clicking transparent when you have it like that you know you can make your font a little bigger to fill up the box you can maybe make your text you know match that if you want you know however it is that you kind of want to make this your own slide okay so again you know maybe you're getting rid of the highlighting, maybe you're keeping it, you know, make sure you can still read everything. You know, maybe you wanna make it some fun colors. As long as we can read it, that's really what matters here, okay? You know, if you wanna change the font, if you know how to do that, you can change the fonts up, you can change the colors. 
you know, whatever's going to make you happy with your slide. Okay, but the most important thing is that you get your information onto this slide in the right boxes. So again, making sure you match background information, copy that from your background information. Okay, Con connection to conflict, that should be from your connection to conflict box. And then your connection to migration displacement, you know, should be going in your connection to migration displacement and then your image. Okay, so again, you can reach out to your teacher with any further questions. We're gonna come on today, tonight, Wednesday night, and leave you some comments in case there's anything we think needs to be fixed up um, on your slide or any suggestions to make it maybe a little bit uh, more creative to look at or more exciting to look at, okay?